That 14 to 2 run in the fourth quarter, what, what got that going? I think it was started with their 7 0 run, and we just couldn't, I mean, it's so annoying. And so we ended up going with some trapping the ball screens, Destiny's activity and energy. And there's a, there's a belief in this group that they just, you know, you tell them, hey, we're going to go aggressive and we're going to trap and we're going to be all over the place and play with our hands. Tony played some at the four in that lineup. Um, and we just were so disruptive and, and, and uh, forced a lot of turnovers or rush shots. Um, so I thought the defense really. Um, the aggressive defensive call, I mean, it was a good change for our group. Does it feel like March yet? Yeah, it has felt like March for this group for the past couple games, basically since we got healthy. But yeah, this is a, you know, these are two really good teams, you know, 15 miles away or however long it is away. Um, really cool for our area. Deja, to toward the end, obviously you had a lot of close games here lately. Did that give you guys more experience and more resolve down the stretch here against Duke? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, but we also had our, our young ones in there with and Kayla and Paulina too, and um, that just shows how much we trust them in those moments as well. And yeah, we've been in a lot of tight ones this season, but I think, you know, just us being resilient, us really coming together, I think our energy was amazing this game as a team, and we just could feel the connectedness throughout the game. Even when we were down, we were still like, y'all, we're, we're good. Like, the biggest thing is we got to stay together, and I think that's what, came, what it came down to down the stretch. Um, and then we just made some really big plays on both ends of the court. Deja, what does it mean to you knowing that you, regardless, this team, men's and women's in basketball, is the only team in the country to have come to Cameron and gotten the win this year? I think we all know how much it means. Um, it means a lot. It's, it's definitely obviously great to uh, beat through on the home floor and not, and also sweep them through the season. So um, it means a lot. So yeah. What about for the New North Carolina kids? It means no. something to you? It was good, for sure. <laughs> I mean, it's always a rival uh, with Duke and but it's our state, and we claimed that this year, um, and it's it's up from here. So we're just getting ready for uh, AC tournament time, and we're going to set this in. For either of the players, I mean, Deja and Tati, kind of a tough shooting night for most of the game, but in the final two and a half minutes, you two combined for 10 points to have a Super Bowl win. Is it just a point of pride at that point, and figuring it out and finding how to attack? Um, I think we have to do what we have to do. I mean, um, our teammates had a lot of faith in us, and you know we had open shots. Deja hit, um, hit a big shot. Uh, I had a big shot, and I mean we just all came together. I mean we knew it was going to come down to you know just hitting a big shot, and that's exactly what we did. So just executing on that end uh, and getting finding each other. I think uh, halftime coach said like let's get each other good shots, and we had good shots. I mean who cares? Like we won the game at the end of the day. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Kennedy, Kennedy, you made the, the three pointer that you made from the corner. It seemed to really accelerate the run. Yeah. Uh, and you've made big shots before, but is that one of the bigger ones you've made recently? Um, no, not really. But I mean, obviously, like a Duke, you know, rivalry, you know, win. I mean, uh, a game, you know, this and they're top fifteen. So um, I mean, it doesn't really phase me. I mean, a shot is a shot. I made it. Um, a lot of teams have faith in us. So. Oh, wow. Uh, Alex, I'm from the next says, uh, Coach, I see you looking over there. So that, uh, tonight is, with this final, you guys, is there even a little bit more pride knowing that, you know, thanks to that result, you guys kept you from winning the conference title in any way, shape, or form? Yeah, I mean, I guess I should probably be rooting for the North Carolina schools to win if we can, and I get that, right? <laughs> but at the same time, not well. we're here, right? <laughs> So that was certainly part of our plan is that if they beat us, then we are going to, they're going to cut down nets, you know, while we're here. And we actually, because of media, I can't just get you out. So we're going to be a part of that, right? Um, so yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it, again, it, I guess we should root for them if it wasn't for us, but not while we're here. And with some of these games that you guys have had, it mm -hmm. seems as if, even as there have been a couple of games where you guys probably want the wins, the crowds have been crazy with all these in-state games. Just what does it tell you, kind of in the couple of years you've come, especially to have like no COVID restrictions or anything finally there? 
feel this environment all season long in all these state in state games. I told our guys we celebrated our seniors yesterday at a, at a celebration, and I, I told them that you know they're they've done they've re they've reengaged the fan base on, on the state level, right? And they've done that because they're really good, but they're also really likable. Um, and this is a really likable group, both on and off the court. Um, and so you know. You saw how many fans, like I said, I don't know how many exactly were here from, from Carolina, but there was a lot of Carolina Blue in the stands today. Um, and so that's just really, we're just, just so grateful. That's why our guys, you saw them celebrate with both sides of the fan base. Team people have really gotten behind this team. Um, if they, anytime you get off your couch when you can get it on high back with great commentating, it means it really matters. So it's, it's great for our game. Courtney, the old turnovers, it seemed like more of Duke's turnovers were forced by your defense, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of your turnovers were unforced. Uh, is that how you saw that? I mean, yes, I love I love you all, but I need you to take a little better care of the basketball. Um, but um, our, yeah, we felt like the if, you're, if we're going to turn it over 21 times and, and shoot at 27% from three and 30% from the floor, you're going to have to generate turnovers. Um, I thought we did a really good job of that. Um, and then we were a little bit careless, played a little bit fast. You know, like Dave said, we got a lot of young guys in. I mean, I was looking at the, you know, obviously last game we played uh, Virginia Tech, they've got like six seniors. You know, we've got like you know, Kayla was, this is Kayla's ninth game playing college basketball, right? And it's, uh, it's uh, Paulina just started her second semester, right? So these guys are young. We, you know, we're not having a lot of senior uh, senior playing time. So this is just such a valuable experience. I keep telling them, just just keep going, right? And it's, I'm really happy for them that it finally went their way. To the point about coming here from uh, your Sherry's title, mm -hmm. uh, because of this win, because of another day win, you're now locked in to playing to the court on Sunday. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, like, exactly. <laughs> yeah, even better. I mean, like, it's funny until our league's so crazy that I haven't even looked at who if we win or lose. It's like anyone that we play, we know is going to be an awesome opponent. Um, but how great for our state! I mean, Greensboro should have a really good crowd. It makes it easier for Mitchell too. He doesn't have to stay for both games. <laughs> so you guys can thank us later. We made your night a little, uh, a little. But they have to. I don't know how it works. I think we have to get there. They're already there or something. I don't really know. But uh, I know these guys are ready for March. They've, they've been through it. You know, the answer. <laughs> um, we've been through it a little bit, so cool. So that means we play them on the second day. Is that what you're saying? Awesome. Can't wait. For Kennedy and Deja, this first time the Carolinas won four straight against Duke mm -hmm. in 14 years. You guys were in elementary school then. What, <laughs> what, is that, what does that well, tell yeah, you? I did not know that. Um, so knowing that now, it's like it, it means so much. Um, it means so much more. Uh, and we just we know how important the, this tradition is, and that's you know part of the reason why we chose this school. We, we knew about the tradition, we knew about the rivalry. Um, so to be a part of it and to sweep for the past two years, um, I think that feels really good for us, and, and that just makes a statement. A question for either of the players: You were talking a lot about communication after the Virginia Tech loss. How do you feel like that came together in this game? It was huge. Um, we, you know, just us alone, kind of team. We had a, a meeting of, of our own, and we were just discussing how um, communication is going to be some, the biggest thing that's going to pull us through down the stretch and take us as far as we want to go um, in March. And uh, just communicating, energy, cheering, celebrating each other, um, and just staying connected. I think that was our biggest thing. So I thought our communication was huge today. Um, it was just it was positive. It was encouraging, and it was um, it was it was intentional. That's a good word. Also, I think when we were talking at that last media or one of the last few timeouts, I'm giving the message and then they're echoing it. And so I think even just their voices, it's not everyone's taking it in. They're not making any assumptions that everybody's hearing it anymore. You know, and so I, I really appreciate that about you guys. I felt like I said something and they echoed it and it was like, oh, you know what she means, right? So I felt like we were in full, we were all, all aligned. Courtney, do you feel like your team's made the case to host? I mean, it, yeah, I mean, I don't get involved in those rooms, unfortunately. But I mean, if you look at the, the possession game against um, you know, the last three games we played, all have been ranked in possessions. And you know, if you look at our body of work, which is what you're supposed to do, you know, I know there's lots of different things. But last year, I was really mad we didn't host. I thought we were better than people thought, and um, so we were told we had to schedule harder. Well, we did that, and we did really well in our schedule harder, right? And so, and then being in the mid, we've got obviously all these ranked opponents that we play. Um, so I, I feel like I did what they asked, and we'll see if we get rewarded for it. In terms of that, the committee obviously takes into account, you know, who was available for games. Yes, yeah. well, we um, hope. <laughs> so, so, so the past couple games, the first time you've had everyone have healthy back and ready. For, how, how ready <coughs> does that make you feel like into the tournaments? As a coach, it's awesome. Like, Tati is barely walking at, at times, and she has to stay in. And so it probably felt good to hear your name and be like, oh, good, I get a little rest, right? Um, so, yeah, I think it's just as a coach, I have way more weapons, and you're not like, 
I felt like a lot of the time during that stretch when they were playing 38 minutes a game, I was like looking at them and being like, come on, just give a little <laughs> bit more. Um, so it's it's just as a coach, I feel like I have way more to work with, which is really great. Deja, that's still a 38 on that score sheet for you today. Guessing, do you feel like you can keep going right now if there was more basketball play? Or? I wouldn't have a choice, but absolutely. <laughs> um, yes, I, I definitely feel like um, you know, maybe after a little bit of rest. Um, but you have all rested today and you have all tomorrow. Yeah. That's enough. But if, enough. if you guys are wanting to accomplish big things in Greensboro, you're going to have to play four in a row at this point where you guys are. Do you feel yeah. as if this team's kind of got the depth now and have got people back in to be able to make that type of a run that you guys can? Absolutely. And it's just a mentality, you know, that we know that we can, we are more than capable, capable of making it far and winning a championship, honestly. So, um, yeah, it's just a mental thing. No matter how many minutes we play, it doesn't matter. But the back-to-back -back one for sure. You know, I'll manage their minutes as best I can. You know, it's survived in advance, so it's I've got to be mindful of that. But um, my hope is is that we can manage their minutes a bit and use our depth for sure. Did cool. you want to ask specifically on that last play where you're able to draw the foul against the line? Just what were you saying there? Um, yeah, I, she was playing really close on me um, with when the clock was running down, so I knew that she was <coughs> going to reach at some point. Um, and I used that to my advantage, so I attacked her hips and um, she fouled me, and then just going to the free throw line, you know, I was able to. Speak. Take a deep breath, um, and I knew that you know I'm, I'm great in moments like that. Um, I, I live for moments like these, so to be able to knock those two down felt really good. Um, basically, sort of fire. And at the end of the game, when you uh, one of the students said, "Enter a little down there," what was just, just what, what was the feeling you felt having <coughs> bringing you over today? Um, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> that was the feeling I was feeling. I think we all know why, but yeah, ha ha. <laughs> talking, about, talking about having to win four in a row in Greensboro, mm -hmm. obviously you're going to have fans there. We yeah. saw it happening. You're going to have a large you number coming? of Carolina fans here. Just talk about how that could help fuel a, a title run for you guys. I just As a coach, it can be a lonely enterprise, right? Because you are you have all these individual relationships and all that. But on game day, when you walk out there and you're, you're behind your bench is packed and, and across the way is packed, you just feel like you're not alone. You know, it's it's really great. So if we can get people up to get to Greensboro, um, which we expect we will, um, that will really help. You know, um, I think the other thing that I've, I've kind of noticed all year that we talk about Deja's kind of ability to score the middle of the floor, in her mid-range and all that, it's really her, her handle, right? So Celeste can't contain her without her, right? So it was Sh Shy, or no, it was um, was Shy will guard me on that last? Yeah. Um, you know, she just has an unbelievable handle. So none of us would like to guard Deja in that situation. Not because of her mid range, but because I have to first try to get her away from her mid range, which means I have to try to take the ball, which is you know, almost easy. So you put a lot of all those hours doing this, you know. Deja, so I was just going to follow up on the, you know, the question about the fouls. You drew seven fouls today, um, and two in kind of key moments there in the last two minutes. Is that a skill? Is that something you try to refine drawing fouls? Definitely a skill. Um, I take pride in that because just because I know how people are going to play me, they play me really tight. They try not to let me really daylight um, so I just basically try to use that to my advantage and um, if you reach if you're playing super aggressive I'll try to get to your body and um, really just take advantage of that and yeah, it's definitely a skill that I've, I've developed. Courtney, they're the one of the best defensive teams in the country. It seemed like you handled their press fairly well, but they were disruptive in half court. How did they disrupt your offense? They're just they're they have multiple elite defenders. Sort of what I, I think about our group. It's like you can't be a great defensive team if all you have is if, if it's always you know the, the group. You need certain guys. I mean, Celeste, again, Toddy, I don't think she likes playing against you. She had six points, she had nine turnovers. You know, you just you have to have great defenders. So they've got multiple great defenders. Um, and so you, you, they can force you to play 1v1. If you get too deep, they're, they're going to crowd you. They put you in dead space, you know, really well. I mean, it's two really good defensive teams. So I asked our ED right after the game, who's in the locker room, I said, was that a fun game to watch? Because I don't know, right? We're, we're working through it. Um, but if you're a purist, you've got some of the best defensive play. Come on the season from two really good teams, in my opinion. Is it a coincidence that your daughter is wearing a Deja Kelly jersey? <laughs> well, she likes the Deja Kelly jersey, uh, and Tucker wears his uh, Kennedy Chad Williams jersey, um, and then Eli wears his uh, 23 jersey because he's, he's a fan of the guy in Space Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, I wanted to talk some about, you touched on this earlier, just the trust that you had, and especially playing Kayla. You know, you said mm -hmm. she's played less than two games, and yeah. talking after the Virginia Tech game, and you know, she's young, um, kind of like messed up a little on the switch there, but mm -hmm. what were the conversations like between then and now to be able to trust her to play in the late game? So 
Yeah, you can't play, you can't play on a, in a program where you don't feel like the coach trusts you, right? And I can't play kids that I don't trust, <coughs> right? And so the ultimate show of that is, is how much they play, right? And, and when we need them. And so I just made sure that Kaylin knew that, that we, I trust her. You know, I, I trust her, and I assume her teammates do too, but um, I do, just like Paulina and Des. I mean, those three were in the last three, five minutes of the game, all three of them, you know? Um, and so I just made sure she knew that you're not, a, you're not defined by one play, because if, if you are, let me pick a play. Right, um, but it's you know we trust you, and sometimes when you're going through it, you don't trust yourself, and so you assume the coach doesn't trust you, right? Uh, so I made sure she knew that I, I trust you, um, you know, and, and she, she played Kayla McPherson basketball. Okay. Uh, so it was it's the lowest um, 